Hello lovelies, I'm Shannon and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 cozy book recommendations because fall is here, it is my favorite season. There's nothing better than climbing into bed with a nice book, with a cup of tea, and just spending your evening reading. So to start off this list is probably the most famous one of all and that is Harry Potter. I recently read this and I adore the series and especially the beginning of the series just gives you these wacky really fun like autumn vibes. There's just something about Hogwarts that just makes it fun to read the series around like the holidays whether it's around Halloween or Christmas. So this is actually on my yearly reads list now. Unfortunately I have not picked it up yet so I'm gonna try to read it during either October, November, or December because it really fits all of those months. So next up is Inkheart. This is actually a middle grade book. It is super thick, so you will be dedicating a lot of time to it, but it is really, really worth it. It's actually a book about the power of reading. So this is about a 12-year-old named Meggie. I believe she's 12. So she finds out her father's been keeping a secret from her. He's actually a silver tongue, which means he can read characters out of books, and that's actually how she lost her mother. It's also revealed that because her father has this ability, she may as well. So she's fascinated with this new world of adventure and this possible ability that she might have, but she soon realizes that it might not be a good thing. With every book there is a villain and her father read out one of the baddest ones of all. So Maggie is trying to deal with this new secret from her father, this new relationship, as well as the fact of her dealing with the adventure that normally stays on the pages of a book. Next up is one of my favorites at the moment. I've been talking about it so much. I'm not even sure there's a video that I haven't mentioned it at like at some point and that is A Discovery of Witches. This is like the best cozy time read ever. I highly, highly recommend it. I know a lot of people are like shocked by how good it is and how they were drawn in because it is such a unique book like in its writing style and just how vivid the, the images you'll get. So the descriptions and everything, especially at the beginning of the book, just really give me this cozy like old town vintage vibe that really fits this autumn time and it's just a really an amazing book to read. So it's about Diana Bishop. She's actually a witch. She is studying in Oxford. Yeah, it's, she's studying in Oxford. She's studying alchemical text when she accidentally finds this magical book that a bunch of creatures want. But before she knows that she is being hounded by people, by creatures, wanting to get a hold of that book. She ends up teaming up with a vampire named Matthew to protect herself because some of them are getting very dangerous, as well as to try to hunt down this magical manuscript and seeing whether or not it's actually what people think it is. Next up is a genre that is made for this time, and that is cozy mysteries. This is a potion to die for. I fell in love with this series because it is about Carly, a potion maker living in, I want to say Arizona, Alabama. It started with an A. I was, I was close. So in this town, Carly makes potions to help the people around this town. So while it's not like magic in the sense that we think of like Discovery of Witches magic where they actually cast spells and there are things going on, there are like potions and just kind of like magical vibes throughout this book that I just really like. I, it's kind of a good witch sort of book where they don't really have magic outright, but there's like a feeling, there's this like sense and also this like tone throughout the book that just really gives off these like witchy autumn vibes that I really, really love. But anyway, when a dead body is found in Carly's shop holding one of her potion bottles. She ends up getting a really bad rep and a lot of people are turning on her so she actually makes it her mission to find out who killed this person and why they were trying to set her up. So I can't really read mystery novels that much it just makes me way too paranoid but cozy mysteries are like the best like in between as well as like the perfect books to read for the autumn weather. So next up is one of my favorite classics. I love the gothic vibe it gives off. It is perfect for the Halloween season and that is The Phantom of the Opera. So the story is surrounding a Paris opera house that has a rumor that's been going around for years that it's actually haunted by a malevolent spirit. I actually listened to this a few years ago, like two years ago I want to say, maybe three, and it's one of the few audiobooks that I am like in love with. It's one of the few audiobooks that I actually started off listening to, and I just love the writing. I love the story. It's really fantastic, and I highly recommend it to anyone who's either trying to get into the cozy autumn vibes or also wanting to get into like classic literature because it's not like overly detailed or like heavy. It's a really interesting story. So that was the last book in my cozy read recommendation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite cozy books are down below. I'll see you again soon in a brand new video.